remember Leonard, <coughs> my dad used to go to the firesides. And uh, you gotta come to this fireside thing, you meet this artist. I think you'd like him, you know? And when I first went up there and went to his house, I'm always like paranoid about people trying to convert me or you know, <laughs> leave me on this way or that way, you know. And it's kind of like politics or religion. So I was kind of like kind of freaked out about that. And, but when I went there, everyone was real nice, you know, just eating cookies and just being real nice to each other. And uh, I was really in awe when I seen Leonard's painting. And I say, oh my God, he's a real true artist. And I eventually went up to him one day and I said, you know, Mr. Herbert, you're, you're such a wonderful painter. Uh, and I always wanted to learn from someone who know how to paint. And he looked at me, he said, young man, if you just wanna make money, you can just get the hell out of my house right now. <laughs> you see, but if you are, you want the paintings to touch people's heart, and you want it to stand the test of time, you go ahead start painting and we'll talk about it and every time I used to go to class and it's like I was kind of like the the guy from the other side of the track and I didn't have money you know I was like torn between a lot of struggles in my life but every time I painted I felt like I felt wonderful you know and when he finally told me, I said, well, you know, he said, this is really hard. Cause you know, I thought it was like rocket science, like, you know, but it's really hard. And he told me, you know, you just have to, you have to just let go. And if I, all the time I look at these headstones, he take a lick and a nap will appear. And he thought, finally, you know, after all these years of painting, I realize, you know, we're all so preconditioned with uh, all these different mannerism in painting. And what I really had to do is uh, trying to think about what he said, take a leap and then that will appear. And it was about letting go. It's like, it's an interesting thing. I was at a clean air uh, competition in Hanalei and uh, all these had uh, all these hot shot painters and I always feel inferior around other artists you know it's like because I feel like they're more academically trained than I and I was painting the Hanalei Pier and all of a sudden it's like I'm struggling because I'm thinking about all these technical things you know I've learned and I finally looked up in the sky and see you know something I don't know what's your name, but I know there's a great creator out there. You come into me, I will push the brush for you. I just uh, let go of all this control thing. And that's what I did. And at the end of the day, it took me eight hours to do the painting. Everybody was moving on, doing the, you know, in three hours. By the end of the day, all the, pe all the pe uh, guys on the beach were saying, hey, brother, you're going to win, you're going to win, you know. And I was so exhausted as I put my painting in my... To me anyway, to make a long story short, I was at uh, Go Farm my Estate on a big tent. And uh, I walked there and had so much ego bouncing off the trees. And I was like, you know, I said, you know, I'm out of here, man. Like, you know, I can't handle this. Then so I was going to walk away and everyone said, you know, Fred, just hang on, hang on. Like, you know, the, the artist is gonna judge the show for who's gonna be best in show. I said, oh, okay, I'm gonna vote. So I went and vote, and everyone voted. And then when they announced the winner, 
uh, you see, the winner is Fred Dangle, and I just I looked up in the sky. I am a believer, <laughs> <laughs> and that really changed my whole uh, thinking about what art is. Huh? It's like that's when it made me realize that you know. The Creator has put me here to manifest His love. It's the manifestation of His love. And just get it, like, just say He did it. I didn't do it. Give Him all the glory. And since I did that, you still struggle, you know, with your ego. And money but i had to let that go you know i told, told my wife i don't know about making money you know i know you believe in me all these years but uh it's it's, it's just it's wrecking my style you know and she said well don't worry but you just paint you know and i just started painting and i started teaching in my studio and and I always thank Leonard, you know, because he always guided me in the right direction. He said, "The day you have, the day you think you have arrived, <laughs> this is the day. This is the day you should drop dead." <laughs> yeah. And uh, but after he left, I ended up with a lot of his stuff, you know, because he wanted me to have his art supplies and stuff. And I just felt like, oh my God, this like, this is overwhelming, and like. You know, it's like, I still don't understand this whole thing, you know, and, but, uh, yeah, he kept me going, and he led me in the right direction. I thank you, Leonard. You see, take a leap, and I'm taking a leap, and all kind of gnats are coming <laughs> in front of me. Thank you.